Welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at Bitcoin. Before we jump into that, just want to say thank you for watching. If you're enjoying the content, please smash the like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. Leave us some feedback down below and also in the description you'll find a link to the Discord, which is free to join. Okay, so let's have a look at what we got going on here. So we were talking about the potential of a B wave to the upside here. So talking about that possibility of having this as ABC. So we have actually come up into this zone here, this 28,543, which would be right on that 0 0.786. It didn't quite reach it, but um, this is a key level that we tend to get a rejection on when we are looking for lower prices. So keeping an eye on this, you know, potentially we could even come back up here one more time, looking at the internals of this move. But um, it depends how we want to look at this whole structure. There is still bearish potential here until we actually break back above this 28,755. So I'm just being cautious about that fact. You know, potentially we could see this move, um, look to find support and then look to push away from here. So we're going to discuss a couple of these things. Okay, so what are we looking for is how we can read this as a completed correction into this low. We can potentially argue that within here, there's something like this as a diagonal for wave one, and then this is a wave two, an A and a B. And the problem I had with this as a diagonal is that this third wave didn't actually take up that wave one high. So rather I'm thinking that, you know, potentially this is just a triangle in here where this is either. So this would be A, we'd have A, B, C, D, E for a triangle. And then we could actually be completed a, um, a five wave move here and then looking for that potential of a wave two to the downside if we're looking for this bullish case because this bullish case is basically looking for a push up towards this 30k range towards this area for this wave three for confirmation so if we are looking for this structure really what we need to do is sort of maintain this lower support range and i'd really want to see this start to move away from here where we actually start to push away and you know get up into these levels because otherwise you know this would have be taking a really long time to play out if this is a wave two but sometimes these things do happen so you're gonna have to keep an eye on it there is still the potential though that we could see a c wave to the downside where we actually look at this as an a a b and then potentially a c wave so all for this current high one to one is actually this 27475 area so if we fail to actually break back above the zone of this um 28543 and get back above this high of this 28,775, I will still look be looking for some potential to have a um, bit of a sell-off here. It would, it would um, make this structure neater, but we'll have to see how this goes. So what we're looking for, if we want to say that we are looking for that um, direct push to the upside here, basically what we'd want to see is something like this playing out. So if I just turn this on, this is the way I'm currently looking at it. I am looking for the potential of a deeper retracement here, possibly towards this low range here, this 28,162 to this um, area here uh, of this one to one, which is at this 28K. You can see that this would actually bring us back into these highs and potentially look to retest this zone. And that would, um, you know, potentially look for uh, just, just a deeper retracement here. we are looking at this potentially as a one, looking for two, and then we don't want to see, you know, that bigger move to the upside here, looking to push up towards that 30k region. So we have 29,568 to 29,382 as a target um, currently off of this. Uh, sorry, actually, this would be down off this one to one. If we wanted to measure it from the current location and we want to say this is one to completed, which is possible, we'll have to monitor it and see. But um, basically, we don't only a move past 94. Uh, 29,400 would confirm this. There is always the possibility that this could just be a corrective structure here. And instead of looking at this as a one, two, this could just become an A, a B and a C. We come back up towards this zone of this uh, 28,932 as a one to one and then look for further rejection. So we'll have to keep an eye on this, but basically for the bullish comp, what I want to see is this move play out. I want to see this 27,800 hold as well as this 27,954 as a support zone. If we do look to pull down one more time and come back into these lower ranges, I want to see this area hold. If it doesn't hold, we need to be cautious because it could mean that we are still looking for lower 
um, lower prices than this ranging area here. And, uh, you know, our, our support zone below us is potentially this 6581 to this 2479 region. So 24794 region, as well as lower down here, we have this other support box at this area of this 24,672 to this 21,204. So obviously we've got some interesting points here. We've got this uh, 25,250, which could offer us support if we do move back in here, you know, retesting this, turning this into support, and then looking to push away. So that's a bullish narrative within this. Um, but we need to just be aware like I said in the previous video, there is always that potential for a bigger flat correction within this within this area where we can argue that, you know, either we could have completed this C wave into here. It wouldn't be the neatest way of looking at this, but if we do get a five wave move down here, this is a possibility where this becomes A, this wave becomes B, and then we're actually looking for that C wave to the downside. So we'll have to see exactly how this plays out. If we do start to develop impulsive structure to the downside here, um, basically that's what I'm on the lookout for. It is also possible that, you know, we could just see a move up into the 30K range, um, potentially even a little bit higher uh, because of that internal structure of these counts. But uh, all we could see is basically a move play out like this, where this just becomes A, all of this is B, we get a C wave, and then this is A, B, and we still look for the C wave to the downside. So, you know, we need to just be careful. Uh, there is potential to break out here, but uh, basically we need to see the follow through. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, we just need to be careful that this doesn't just pitter out here and then we actually end up having a bigger sell off down to some of these lower ranges. Okay, so with that said, the other way we were looking at this and we were talking about the potential that this is a WXY instead where this is all W, this is an X wave. And then we're looking for this Y wave down towards this zone of this 26,918 range. So this is still viable as well. I was looking at this as just ABC, but uh, you know, potentially we can argue that we could have something like this as a bigger flat A, B, and then we get the C wave to the upside and a five wave move here one, two, three, four, five, and then that could be actually a completed move. And if that's the case, basically what we would have here is just the potential of um, of having a bigger ABC to the downside here. So if that's the case, what we could be looking for here, you know, is a bigger move here towards this zone of this one to one, which would be here, at this 27,418, uh, 486 area. So this is gonna be a key zone here, uh, Basically, we want to see whether we whether we man whether we maintain this area, or whether uh, you know we actually look to break down much deeper here. So this is still on the cards. We are interacting with the top of this channel again, and we have been rejected off of it quite harshly here. What I want to see here is if we do come back up into this zone. Obviously, we've got um, some key zones here, as well as twenty eight thousand three hundred ninety seven, and this top channel. So you know, if we see something like this play out. Where we actually come down here, move back up into this, get another rejection, possibly even retest it again, but then start to break down. We could be looking for these lower targets, you know, towards this 25,578 region. So I have to keep an eye on this. Obviously, this could just become A, B, C, and then that's completed. And then we look to continue to the upside. Or alternatively, there is the bear more bearish scenario that we discussed where we could actually be setting up for that five wave drop. So these are just things that we need to be aware of. You know, there is still the potential, like I said, uh, until we break above 28,755, uh, we can still argue that, you know, we could count this one, two, three, four, and five into these lows. And then basically now we're setting up for this wave two. So as long as we stay below this 28,775, this is still viable. And we have obviously this, um, rejection area here if it did come up a little bit higher the highest I really want to see as a wave two would be this uh, 28,617 so I'm keeping an eye on it you know if this is just a b and then c to the upside here completed um, possibly this could then look to start breaking down for a bigger third wave so we'll have to just um, just wait and see exactly how this plays out if I just change this target area now Basically, that third wave would now look to actually come back down into this zone here of this uh, 26,842 if we do get this breakdown. So 
this would mean that um, it would be, yeah, I mean, there wouldn't be much space here for this wave four. And honestly, you know, if we're getting something like this as a flat correction, this wave three could look to extend out here and potentially even move down lower uh, towards 25,850 at a 2.618 if we do start to reject even harder here. So we just need to be careful that, you know, really until we take this high, there is still that potential of having a bigger sell off here to the downside where we form one, two, three, four, five. And then that would actually tie in with that idea of having that, um, you know, that bigger flat correction here where this is an A, a B, and like I said, you know, potentially C completed here or still in progress. Um, so we just need to be careful because we could still see that breakdown happen and if that's the case what i'd be looking for would be that potential that you know uh, if we are completed into this high here obviously we've got this uh this low green support box here and one to one would actually look to take us back down towards this twenty six thousand eight hundred and seventy eight region which would be an interesting zone because you know that would be bringing us back into these lows and uh potentially even if we do extend out a little bit here you know, possibly we could come back down lower here towards some of these zones, 26,789 to this 26,131. And then obviously we've got our lower support box here, 26,581 to this 24,794 uh, 24, region. So these are, these are all still viable options at the moment. We need to just um, see how we react here. If we're looking for that bullish price action, you know, we want to see this start to get a move on to the upside. We want to see the support zone hold and we want to see this start to push away from this area this move here like i said we got to be cautious because this could be a c wave in which case if we do break down past this low would indicate that we are going to see you know continuation to the downside this is normally what happens if we do get a five wave move like this to the upside you know we got to be careful because if we break this low that means that that's a flat and these typically have a sharp rejection to the downside so if we do have something like that just need to be aware of that um that bearish uh, price price target for that uh, 1.618 which it comes in lower down here towards this uh, 26842 if we break down past that i would be um you know on the lookout for that possibility of an additional fourth and a fifth wave to the downside which could look to actually take us, let me just adjust this target area again, something like this, back towards this 26,697 to this 26,439 area. So you can see that this is going to be quite an interesting zone if we do come back down into this area. Obviously, we've got all these lows here. We've, below that, we have the support of this 25,250, you know, this high, these highs in here. So we just got to just, you know, just be a bit patient, but just need to be careful here because this could be setting up for a bigger drop. So I'm still not trusting it 100%. Uh, the way that we've been developing the structure to the upside is not great um, currently, but it can always, you know, look to push up, you know, take these highs and then get rid of this sort of bearish um, scenario that we have a direct sell off here to the downside okay so i'm gonna leave the video there i hope you found it useful if you did please smash the like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below also in the description you'll find a link to discord come check it out it's free to join as well as that there are affiliate links for both primings bt and Bybit down there both great exchanges we use on a regular basis if you do not have an account using the affiliate link does help support the channel and we do appreciate it everyone have a great day see you in the next one